I'm Paul Perkins with a check of your ag weather. As the ridge of high pressure builds north from the southern plains, highs through Friday are at seasonal levels in the mid-80s to the low 90s. Thunderstorms are possible tonight, possibly lingering into tomorrow morning with a disturbance sliding east. More thunderstorms develop over northeastern Colorado tomorrow afternoon and track to the east tomorrow night. Higher chances of thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow night favor southwest Nebraska and northern Kansas. A few of those storms tonight and tomorrow night could be strong to severe with hail and damaging winds. The strengthening ridge of high pressure allows for more heat to build over the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, the hottest days of the next week, with highs in the 90s, even some low 100s over northern Kansas. Heat index readings as high as 100 to 105, also a possibility. Spotty late day and nighttime thunderstorms return for Sunday night into early next week. Highs drop into the mid-80s to the low 90s for Monday and Tuesday. In our long-term forecast, Nebraska and Kansas temperatures are slightly warmer than normal Monday through the middle of next week. That's before temperatures trend to seasonal levels late next week through the first three days of September or the day after Labor Day. Nebraska and Kansas rainfall indicated to be mostly near normal Monday through September 3rd. Central and eastern Kansas starting to see decreasing rain chances late next week through September 3rd. Key weather factors driving the markets include mostly dry weather and increasing heat for the Corn Belt, concerns from too much rain in the northern plains and Canadian prairies, and dry weather before spring in South America. The next five days, mostly dry weather prevails across much of the U.S. Extreme heat continues in the south-central U.S. with above normal temperatures expanding to many other parts of the U.S. by the end of the week. Disturbances crossing the northern U.S. result in occasional rain towards the northern plains and Canadian prairies. The rains are raising concerns in mature wheat areas and overly wet corn and soybean areas, especially for loss of quality and harvest delays for the wheat. Early next week, there's more rain on the way. A cold front may produce scattered rain across the northern plains and Canadian prairies. That's followed by a higher chance of rain late in the week in the northern plains and Canadian prairies, possibly with the burst of cooler air. In southern Brazil and northern Argentina, cold air this weekend into next week could again produce frosts that are damaging to more advanced wheat. For southern Brazil, rain is helping the wheat crop and increasing soil moisture just ahead of corn planting. Central Brazil with little to no rain in the forecast in need of rain prior to soybean planting. Argentina that is only seeing light rain needs more widespread heavy rain for developing wheat and corn planting next month. For the Black Sea region, drought continues to increase across eastern Ukraine and southwestern Russia. Conditions are better for filling corn and sunflowers in other areas of the Black Sea region. Limited rain is possible in the Black Sea region in the next few days. A longer dry stretch through next week and increasing heat in most of the Black Sea region likely to add to the damage of crops. With the check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins.